Hey you guys, what's going on? Mr. Canudis here. Um, I know people have been struggling with the, uh, the how to run the game, uh, Middle Earth Shadow of Mortar. I couldn't remember the game they were saying. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick step by step uh, video, kind of tutorial on how to actually do it, okay? So, well, th I'm not saying that this is the right way to do it, but it, this team, it worked for me, and a lot of other, a lot of people seem to be having the same problem. So, again, thanks to Nick Space for the download, which worked for me. So, just go ahead, and if you click on the link here, it brings you to a site called mega.co.nz, and you just go ahead and click download. It's a config.rar. Uh, RAR uh, folder, so it's a zip folder. So once that's downloaded, you download it to wherever you want. Just make sure you know where it downloads to. So I downloaded, say, to my uh, download files. I think, I think it was no my over here my desktop. Right. So after I downloaded that, just go ahead and open it and you should have a settings.cfg a render.cfg and a game.ini so it's a cfg file a cfg file and a configuration settings file so after that you have to extract it right so if you go to extract and just click extract here and we'll show you what happens so you get the three files should that should uh, extract to the folder you have it in or to your desktop right I, I, I advise kind of doing it on your desktop because it makes life a lot easier because you can see them then when they come out so there's the tree files and when you what you want to do with those tree files is you want to go back to your my go to my documents go to just the documents and you should have a, a WB games folder and um, now that should be installed uh, Either when I'm not sure if it's installed when you install Shadow of Mortar or or if it's when you actually try to run the game. So if you don't have a file like that, um, I'm not sure what to do. You could just make a Warner Brothers games folder and see if that works. Um, but it should probably be there. If not, try run the game again and uh, it should hopefully create that file. That file. Um, now in that folder you should have the Shadow of Mordor folder, go into that and just copy the game.ini, the render.cfg and the settings.cfg into the uh, Shadow of Mordor folder. Okay. So what you want to do is, you want to take these three files, you want to hit copy and just paste them in. I'm not going to do it because I already have them there. So just paste them into that and once you have that done, you should just be able to go ahead and run the game. That's what has how I did it. So um, hopefully that works. I'll just do a quick run through that again. Just click on the link. Click the. Uh, you'll be brought to a site called Mega. Download the file. So just click on the download to your computer. The orange button. Um, it's in config.or a or file. You will. You can save that to your desktop. So. Or it'll probably download into your download folder, but just pull it out to your desktop. It then extract the files. So what you want to do is right click it and click extract here. These three files will pop up, and then you all you want to do is you copy them into your WB games and go into WB games and there should be a Shadow of Mordor folder. And then in the Shadow of Mordor folder, you just copy your games, your the files into there, and run the game. Simple as that, guys. Hopefully this works out for everyone. Um, if not, leave a comment uh, below, and I will try and try and try and fix your your game. But uh, hopefully that works, guys. Thanks for watching, and good luck.